Hi everybody. Welcome to 2 OG Token and Stitch Nylon Style. I'm standing here because I have some finished objects. I'm Antoinette and today's video is about whips, finished objects, acquisitions, and whatever general chit chat you come up with. Welcome to all returning subscribers, new subscribers. If you're coming for the first time, Hope you like the content. If you like the content, feel free to subscribe, comment below, suggestions, what have you. The first finished object, the air and throw, it is done. I'm doing this on the Appii Genie because it's the only way I can get the whole thing into the picture, but it is totally finished. It is done. And here it is. Oh, can't get the whole thing in, but you can get the, but it is completely done. And this is the edging. It's a Pico, Pico border. You can see there. I haven't washed it yet, but it's actually not too bad. And that's the edging. And I'm going to fold this up. I'm going to pause this and then move you to Okay, I just moved so I can sit down and show you. Okay, that was the Aaron Throw. It's a free Your Inspirations pattern. And I made it with Red Heart Comfort. I think on my phone there, everything comes reversed. And it took um, one... I think it took one, two, it took about three and a half balls of this yarn. Um, I did it in teal fleck and latte fleck, and there was approximately 612 yards per ball, so that was 1,836 so it's over 2,000, about 2,100 yards for the blanket. I think it, uh, yeah, it said, it said seven skeins of Red Heart Super Saver. And I think there's 300 yards, 320 yards per skein of Red Heart Super Saver. But it's a very easy pattern to do, and it's worked long ways. And the finish measurements on it are 48 by 63. Mine's just a little bit bigger than that. Um, and, you know, you work it with uh, two size hooks, a 6 millimeter uh, USJ and a 5.5 millimeter US9, uh, I9, which is for the border. And it's a very warm, it's warm, uh, warm throw. And I'll put all this information in the description box below, but that is a finished object. So this can go in my basket of ball bands. The next finished object I have is I finished the sleep sack and baby hat for my great niece. This is called the um, this is, hmm, don't have the pattern, uh, I don't have the pattern here with me. Hold on. It was in the project tote that I have for the baby stuff. This is, these are both free patterns. This one is called the Cozy and Cables Cap. This is by the same designer. This is the Cozy, I added a little pom-pom to it. Cozy and Cables Cap. Get that, put that a little bit so get the glare. That's the pattern. 
it's fairly easy. I'd say an adventurous beginner can do it. And this was the sleep sack. Um, that's the pattern. And it's by Which is it's by or not? And I'll find out. Susetta. No, it's by Su I'll find out who's by and I'll put it in the description box below. I know it was it both free patterns. But that is another finished object. Uh, this one here, you have the choice of doing a closed bottom or an open bottom. Now, I had was going to do the open bottom, and I did it, and I didn't like it. That's why this this ribbon is here. So I just picked up the stitches and added and closed the bottom in. I didn't like how it looked, but that is the cable sleep snack snuggled mm -hmm. snuggled snuggled in cables. So that's for the great niece, and that was another finished object that I did, and another finished object. If you remember, I had talked about the Twist and Shout. I started it a year ago. The Twist and Shout, your inspirations, hat and cowl. I had done the cowl, and I was having tremendous trouble with the hat and the slip stitch. Brim. Who might kick him out with a tutorial? And I still had issues with it. So you know what? I said the heck with it. I did front post, back post, rim, rim. And I did it longer so I could fold it up and I finished the hat. So there's the hat. And it's done in Karen Simply Saw. This is the paints in Ocean. And this is teal, and I did the pom mixture of a pom pom with both in it, and then paired with the cowl. This is what it looks like with the cowl. So that it might be said. I said Mikey has a tutorial now on the channel. I'll list all of this in the description box below. But that is another finished object. Yep, I don't know what it is with me in the slip stitch brim. Maybe eventually I'll get it, but I just had issues with it, so I just went and did a front post, back post um, brim. Hey, yeah, I I kept doing it, and somehow I kept losing, I kept losing stitches, so I kind of gave up on it. Then, um, my last finished object, and it'll have to do with my acquisition, but I did a box hat. This is in the Premier Bloom Chunky, and this is Cactus Bloom. And this is what I had left. The, now, when I did this, I tried, I had changed my needle size. Ross does his with an 8 millimeter, but I guess I was knitting looser than he did. So I dropped mine down two needle sizes, and I did mine in a 6 millimeter, and it worked out perfect. You can see, I got ponytail in. But I love it. And I didn't color control or anything. So if I would have, I would have had two rows of the the pattern. And I'll put this on. You can see my crown piece pieces. I love Ross's hat pattern. So that was my other finished object. So those were my finishes for this week.
Now, works in progress. Um, I have my Alaska hat. Still in progress. I just still working on the on the, the two pearl two brim. And then if you remember, I was doing the Juliet books. This one here. And I was had started it in, if you remember, I meant green worsted weight. And then I saw Teresa had done uh, uh, Teresa of Craving Crochet finished hers. And the worsted weight was just too heavy. So I frogged it. And I redid it in Shaw on the Ball. I say this is a worsted, but any of us know that it's a lot thinner than a number four. So this is Moonstone. So this is what. I have done so far on mine. Now I came into a little bit of a problem and I had contacted Teresa about it and I have to go to the uh, Facebook group to deal with it. I had I was getting ready to do, to do the sleeve. You have this long chain and I kind of to join the chain I kind of ran into a problem so I'm going to go and see about that but I think this is going to be a lot lighter than the uh, worst that I was doing it in. And then the colors are working up great. I mean, this is the colors it shows it works up in for the Moonstone. So, and it's going to be a lot lighter. And Lord knows I have enough shawl on the ball. So I have three balls of this. So that's what I am. I've reached, started, started that over. Over in to do the Juliet dress in. And I'm going to make mine into a tunic rather than a dress. To wear with a pair of tights, you know. Um, and more like for the spring or the fall. You know, because I'm just not going to, I'm not into wearing the dress. And the other thing I had been working on was my vanilla sock. And I am, I just finished picking up and I'm getting ready to do my gusset decreases. So this is where I am at on this. So you can see, I just finished, uh, started doing, working my decreases. So that's how far I am on that. And that's just marking my every 10 rows. So when I go to the second sock, I make sure they match. And my little point protectors. Mm -hmm. um, this tutorial was from the Crazy Sock Lady, which in the previous video that's uploading right now, I did a review on some 9 inch circulars. And I had listed, she has, she's one of the tutorials I listed, and she shows you how to do um, the heel flap and heel turn on 9 inch, as well as uh, Magic Loop, as well as DPNs. I do my. I like my socks on 9 inch circulars, but I do do my heel flap and heel turn on two, nine, uh, two DPNs. I am practicing on my flexi flips to get better at it. I'm still kind of awkward on it. And my tension needs to get better. And the only other whip I have, do you remember, if you remember, the Seasons of Change cardigan? I've got work, I've got quite a bit of work done on it. Now, I have to say that this is probably one of the most unusual construction for sweater construction I've ever done for crochet. I am on, um, the back. Of the sweater, I've done the um, what is called the cardigan uh, part of it, the left front and the collar, all continuous. 
once you finish the collar, you fasten off and then you reattach. Now, if you look at this little diagram here, you have markers. And those markers are significant because then you have to reattach to do your back. This is all done. I mean, you only have um, two seams. That's the only place it's stitched. Right there. That's the only place it's stitched. It is under the arms and across here. That's it. It's the, the, the cardigan is all, there's no side seams. It's all done in one piece. So I will show you what I have done. And the pattern's really easy to do. I'm doing the medium to large. So this was the first part. That, know, I'll hold it up. I'm going to hold it up long, lengthwise. This is actually how it's, it'll go. I'm going to show you. It goes like this. This is the back that I'm doing. Okay, this is the back. And it's going to be going. And these are the sleeves. It's it's all done in one piece. I mean, it's it's a very unusual. And this here, I mean, you, you do for the collar. It's, it's a very unusual piece. But this is how much I have done of the sweater. So, I worked on it for quite a bit the last few days. And I'm just about ready to go to the right front. I have maybe mm, to finish the back. I've got one, two, five rows, and I'm done with the back. And then I'll go on and I'll fasten off. And then you chain 39 and connect, and then you start for the right front. And then the whole front will be done because it's because it is a cardigan. So it, 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 I'm as I get further along, um, the construction. I'll be able to show you more of how the construction is, but it's you can see it's a very pretty cardigan, and it's it's open enough that it'll be good for spring, summer, fall, and even the winter time right around the house. So that's what and I'm old school. I don't, I write down. My repeats and cross them off as I do them. So that's what I have done on this web. As far as any other whips, I don't really have um, the fisherman sweater. I haven't done. I've done a few um, few rows on the sleeve of the elf coat, but nothing worth really showing. Um, I have been. Uh, planning on doing a zoom for block eight on the heirloom afghan and because i have some interest in it and the information for that is going to be in the facebook group when we're going to have it um i redid the block there has been some issues with it so it's just easy for me to do a zoom in person so we can do it together um and we'll see how that goes um, and we will, and if you want to join the Facebook group, it's a private group, but if you want to join, um, just go to the link in the description box below and uh, I approve everybody and join our group, um, and join us in our crochet along. It's whenever it's, there's no deadline on it. It's as we go at your leisure, the leisure arts. They were gracious enough to let us do their pattern, or use their book, and um, have this crochet along. So, um, I have a do less than a dozen blocks left on mine. And I'm already looking at getting another blanket ready to go. I have discovered that I actually like to do blankets. I didn't think I did. The blankets I like to do, though, are, I'm looking at the Atlanticus or the Phoenix or the Marnie um, from Hooked on Sunshine. I bought all three patterns at the compendium 
and uh, yes, I'm, I'm and just start one of them. So I've decided that I will always have a blanket on the go. Um, I really discovered I do enjoy blankets. I really do. Uh, so other than that, I'm working on my Palmetto Shaw. I uh, crochet on that now and then. It's a very uh, intensive because it's just small yarn, small hook, and it's 400 plus stitches across. Uh, ongoing. Fisherman's sweater. Complicated. Cables. Have to concentrate. Um, you know, I uh, tonight have uh, fire school tonight. Accounting. It's busy with school. Today we're having that storm. So I thought I'd get on and do a few videos. Um, one's uploading right now. And I will get this one uploaded as soon as I finish. So now we'll come to the part of this where I show you my acquisitions. Now everybody's saying, well, you said you're on a yarn band. Yes, I am. But I have plans for these yarns. I tried out a Canadian company, Aberdeen Wool. Um, I saw Gary from Urban Yarns. Hi, Gary. Fellow Canadian. Uh, Barb. Uh, went in, we ordered the yarn together, and for once I actually ordered yarn that has uh, patterns already for it, plans. They are four projects. So I will show you what I got. And they had these on sale. Actually, part of my order hasn't come in yet, and they have wonderful customer service. They um, emailed me and said they'd be shipping the rest of my order. Um, this was on sale for two nine, two ninety nine. The Bloom Chunky, and I just got one of each of these colors. Um, this there's one hundred nine yards. It's one hundred percent acrylic, very soft. I got the Cactus Bloom, which I showed you. This is Snapdragon. I got. Daisy. I got Orchid. Pretty colors. These are all going to be hats. I got Bluebell. Tulip. Dahlia, Baby's Breath, of which I have the uh, number three yarn in this, and what didn't come was I had, um, there were some that didn't, that didn't come that are on back order, that haven't come yet. So those were, and again, the Cactus Bloom hadn't come yet. I got those. Those were on $2.99. And then I got, I had ordered three different ones because these are for three sweaters. It was the Nordica, and I'd been wanting to try it, and I had been watching Premiere for it to go on sale. But then I see Aberdeen Wools, a Canadian company. I can get this from them. Cheaper. And $5 shipping. If your order is $75 more and it's already in Canadian funds. This was on sale for $5.99. Canadian. And I got Ice Blue. And that's what it works up as. Into a sweater. This, I got four of these. It's going to be a sweater. It is a number three, and there are it's 546 yards. So I bought four. That's enough to make a sweater, and it's just going to be a plain stocking and sweater. Ribbed cuffs, ribbed bottom, ribbed top. That's it. The other one I got is Harbor Gray, and that's how that one, they all work. It's, this is how this one works up. I got four of that. And the one that I didn't get yet is called Spearmint, and it's like a green. And those are slated for three sweaters. So, and that's all I got. Uh, Barb had ordered some stuff. 
she got some of the um, Nordica and uh, she had got some of the Premier Bloom number three weight for some baby blankets. So that's all I got. And that's the only yarn I have gotten since I think September, October, October maybe. But for, for, for a change, uh, it just wasn't bought because it was on sale. It was bought because specific in order. The chunky is for hats and that is for sweaters that are slated to be um, knitted up for gifts. And other than that, I haven't bought any yarn. Um, and Aberdeen Wool, wool.ca, I will be ordering from them in the future. Um, they have good prices. I like supporting uh, local companies in Canada. And they have wonderful customer service. And their prices were pretty good. It was on sale. It's Premier Yarn. I mean, I'm getting the Premier Yarn at a good price in Canadian funds and over $75, $5 shipping. So, Gary, thank you for turning me on to Aberdeen Wool. I appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't seen Gary's channel, Urban Yarn, uh, go check him out. I'll put his information down in the description box below. He is a knitter, a crocheter, a dyer, a designer. Um, he's got a great channel. Um, some of his hobby comes in once in a while. Um, and he had an unboxing with him. And uh, he has a good, a good channel. So if you get a chance, go check him out. So with that, I think I'm going to be... Uh, bringing this to a close and we're at 25 minutes and I think that's long enough and I do have other videos I have to do so when I get all the information for the uh, tutorial zoom along uh, it will be in the Yarny Yaya's on Facebook so go and check it out and all that information will be in the description box below how to find so everybody remember stay healthy stay safe stay warm hug smiles and happiness pass it on make the world a better place. See you next video coming to you from Deer Island, the Bay of Fundy. Bye for now.